Good morning. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Psalm 139, verse 23. My name is Kiendra Leontz, and this morning's devotion is entitled, Number One Priority. Who are you living for? God or yourself? We get caught up with the idea that life is for me. What I want and what satisfies and makes me happy. Not to say God doesn't want you to be happy, but to say he knows best how to make you happy. Many times, we take life into our own hands without consulting God about what he wants of us. We follow the ways of the world by just living for us, not worrying about how it affects someone else. To be in the world, but not of the world. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. John 17, 16. Many have developed a selfish disposition. It's all about me. What can I get out of it? How is it working best for me? How can I make the most from this money? How can I get to the next level, not caring about the others around? That's the mindset of many in the world. However, we are called to be different, to stand out, to have a different mentality, and not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 2. Our different look on life will not stop us from producing great things, from being promoted or from having good things in life. Just the opposite. Our godly mindset allows the blessings to flow our way and even to those around us. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. Everything we do should bring glory unto God, not for self-satisfaction. This state of mind is difficult to acquire because by nature, we are naturally selfish. We do things for our own glory, but with God, all things are possible and we can rely on God to renew our minds every day so that we would be focused on him more than ourselves. And when we are blessed, we attribute it to him, not simply out of ritual, but out of relationship and appreciation for God's blessing on our life. Whatever you, therefore you eat or drink, Whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. God knows us and our desires. I pray God will be your number one priority and our heart's desires will reflect his and we will give him all the glory. Be blessed and be a blessing. Shalom.